WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around positive territory. S&Ps right now positive by eight points, trading at 29.49. We got the NASDAQ right now up 22 points, trading at 81.69. Dow Jones up 32 points, trading at 26,576. We're still big in earnings season. After the bell tonight, we get the, I was going to say Google, Alphabet, the parent of Google, after the close tonight, tomorrow, Apple. And uh, continuing the week, Wednesday, we get a Fed decision, that meeting starting tomorrow. And Friday, we get jobs data for last month. This month, jobs data for April should be quite an action-packed week. With that in mind, let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow as we get up there. So we're nearing the high where we were at about 4 a.m. this morning. 26,577 was the high in the Dow. We're currently about 20 points from that level, 26,555. Pretty tight trading range, all things considered the low being 26,484. Only talking about 70 Dow points. NASDAQ 100 up approaching that high as well. We just got above that level briefly in the last 10 minutes, 7861 being the high, currently trading 7856. Low of the day, about 7 a.m., 78.28. S&Ps, now far above that high that we made. The high overnight, 29.46. We're now three points above that level, trading 29.49, just off the highs we made a few minutes ago. Crude oil didn't take long to bounce off of that pullback. Early, early this morning, you had crude down there at 62.46. We're now a solid dollar over that level with crude trading at 63.58. Gold contract pulling back a bit, 1280.81, the price of June gold, and euro US dollar. We're seeing a little bit of dollar weakness, euro strength, euro trading 111.81. And one of the stories I was just reading coming on the air prior to this that is breaking, pretty remarkable that they just don't stop in terms of the stories relating to how this has unfolded with the 737 MAX and whether. I don't think it's appropriate how Boeing has behaved, but Boeing waiting until after the Lion Air crash to tell Southwest that the safety alert was turned off for the 737 MAX. Pretty remarkable, so it just goes into the specifics of that, and uh, if you get a chance, check it out. We'll break it down, of course, but Boeing, nonetheless, pretty much flat for the day, down about 43 cents, trading at 380.36. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour and Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Monday.